the cloud being locked in. Oh, the cloud is coming out. It just It's a time of the week thing for Booty. It's just like, who do I feel like today? Cloud. Oh, no, we are going One, TNC. Go. All right, so double doubly whiffed on what's the starter, but hey, Town and City for Falco, generally considered pretty good having those platforms to get some vertical extensions since Falco can already jump so high, and K has been on point, not even being touched yet. Yeah, agreed. Right now, this stage probably was not the best choice for Bui to go to the stage in, for, for in terms of Falco, because we've seen many Falco players really ex really use uh, the platforms as an extension off of their combos, and just really missing the final fin the finishing touch there. And c again, Clefair absolutely devastating Booty right now. But Booty kind of making it back. Now the stage kind of on the final destination kind of uh, vibe at the moment. No platforms to hold uh, Booty back. Yeah, this is the oh, dichotomy no. of a matchup like this. Oh, no. El Feliz, he did not have his jump. Oh, they saved their jump the entire time. What a lad. Being, missing the downer, though, is Booty. Trying to get dash back and catch that button out of the corner. But Cali, uh, excuse me, Kayla Farah is getting to that chance where they are able to apply the corner pressure, looking for these back airs. But Booty playing it safe and using that district to his advantage to scrap their way out. Once again, just missing the, the special attack right there. But right now, we have Kelly Farrick having a really pretty... Well, they're both at a pretty equal uh, pace right now with the same percentage. Oh, but the down air is definitely going to take that first off of a Kelly Farrick. And Booty kind of has to make this work right now because he has, you know, max rage at the moment. Thirst of all three of his stocks still active. And he's going to have to really capitalize on this advantage he has at the moment against Kelly Farrick. And will Cali Fire go for it? No edge guard on Cali Fire's part, really respecting the limit and almost going too much respect for it as they let Booty get back to stage, get back to uh, center and take advantage all in one clean motion. There is that. Very up. surprised that he, Cali Fire didn't capitalize on the fact that he um, he basically got Booty off the ledge and didn't really capitalize on that like opportunity. Kind of stood there waiting for Booty to get on, back on the stage. But right now, it really doesn't matter because Cali Fire is now. No, good DI, good DI. But it might have the same situation before where he might get left guarded. Oh, nope. Yeah, the back air missing the stage mm -hmm. fight afterwards, but it is still rough and tumble for Ka uh, Kali Farah. The upbeat and an attempt to bounce back to ledge. I love the idea of all of that, but Booty played it so well, not over committing and playing the stage control game beautifully in order to confirm that punish after all of the tricks Kal Kali Farah threw out. Yeah, agree. Now we have both uh, the Sage not only with two platforms, but very, uh, other Sages of the main platform. So, pretty good advantage for Kelly Fair right now with the Sage. Oh! Yep. Multi hits, man. They can be so hard to tech in weird spots. And Falco's up be operates at a weird mm -hmm. cadence sometimes. You're not really often sure if you'll fall out of it. Either way, Kelly Fair is taking that one to the bank. Yeah, right now, all we're on our last stock. Definitely not last game, though. Definitely just the first game. Could be anyone's game at the moment. And honestly, this set could really go either way. But uh, let's no not talk too much in the future. Oh, yep. Yeah. There goes that jump. Yeah. Please save your jumps, everybody. Sorry. This, is, this is jump saving 2020. Please. 2022. 2022, oh my god. Oh, I'm, no. I, oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the 2020, but yeah, right here. Absolutely. Mrs. Jump couldn't recover <laughs> and cl didn't even have a limit all the charged up, so couldn't really extend off the up B limit uh, advantage he gets usually with the higher jump. Yeah. But that was, was a really clean air. Wow. Hi. Yeah, Booty played it really well on stage, played, uh, played the advantage against Falco, especially since Calif uh, Califera was so focused on trying to just force their way back to ledge, uh, oftentimes taking many a hits in order to find that Falco Phantasm back, because I love this play. The, the back forth, uh, back forth mix-up that came from the bounce and Booty just played, just waited and watched it all happen, mm -hmm. as as you do with a character like Cloud, who you have to play so much neutral, but it felt like everything fell apart once Booty lost that lead and get in, didn't get a chance to extend, got in his own head, and Calafera took his jump. Yeah, but right now, here we're going all over to PS2, which I know Booty is much more adept at using a clock on this stage, as I've experienced it before in Bracket, and it was awful for me. So I definitely know he loves the stage for Cloud. He's going to be using uh, those middle platforms as much as he can to his advantage. Yeah, it gives Cloud a place to hide under. It gives, it gives ways to extend off of their, your jumps and as well as off of some of your landing aerials. 
and added boost to platforms is all it takes is a lot of what Air Cloud wants to do for offense, but it's equally oppressive for Beautiful. defense as the returning fan uh, excuse me, reflector did not have a chance to beat out the limit cross slash. Super good from Booty to take that opportunity when it was found and looking for another one for the Phantoms in the back air. Oh, oh, the, the, oh the, but he's going to no He made it back. Oh, Limit Charge the very last second. He was able to do the up beat with extended vertical range in order to be back on the ledge. Super good play on Booty's part to charge up to the very edge. So one hit in either favor would give him uh, the limit. Super clean stuff on that cloud play, resource, managing that resource. Uh, great stuff from Booty right now, but Ryan, we can't be, we, we can't like, oh my oh, god, he went the up two! Oh my god! Hurt box shifting, ladies and gentlemen, it happens uh, to everybody. <laughs> up beat, no, up smash! You see that landing hitbox come out, respect the, uh, what, respect that, and then blow him up for it. Nah, you got in this, you gotta respect Cloud on this stage. This stage is absolutely made for him at this point. And Booty, once again, only has all three of his stocks, so 152% max rage. And Limit not fully all the way charged, you know, about halfway there. But Kaylee Fair, Kaylee Fair has to be really careful now because he keeps getting caught in a lot of booty attacks. Yeah, Kay uh, Kaylee Fair is just... What was so good in game one for them was the fact that they played into this uh, short... Uh, the short hop aerial uh, into tilt game very, very strong in game one. This time, Booty is undershooting a lot of his tools and or approaching with shield, which in both ways allows Booty to find a punish. As we get a couple feedbacks coming out from Calavera, <laughs> yeah. getting a get a little bit roughed up. It's gonna be a long mm -hmm. way back into game number into this game if this doesn't go immediately into a game three. There, there he is. Yep. Taking that second game for himself. Now we're going over to game three. Uh, I'm expecting uh, definitely not run back to PS2. Absolutely not. If uh, Kelly Fair wants to keep that game that set for himself, uh, possibly going back to back to TNC just so he can get that advantage state once more. Because we we definitely saw a completely different uh, Kelly Fair on uh, TNC versus PS2. Like and same thing with with Booty. Both Ooh. players were basically in their element. Man, that. That last stock was so good because it really changed up the entirety of how Booty wanted to play. Could we see that again? Uh, production, sir. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> Getting a nice look at the at the setup on the cross slash, whiffing the up smash here. But after this, after this parry into the whiff cross slash, Booty knows that the entirety of his pace has been very much on the back foot, using that disjoint to the advantage by whiff punishing and setting up walls, setting up like a nice blockade. But in this particular moment, because it's last stock and because Booty had basically all the momentum on his side and has a lot of information, he took how he would usually play, which is a back step approach, and turned it on its head, catching a dash, this time dashing forward with an intended button, while Kalifera, Kalifera thought that they could, uh, they could safely jump away. Boom. Boom. It's stuff like that that makes Cloud so effective because your on-stage game is near second to none. You have such an amazing dash, amazing out-of-shield options, so your approach game can be very flexible, whether it be with falling aerials, with that re uh, with that distance or, uh, and uh, positivity on shield, or using your out-of-shield options to the advantage. Those multi-hits that are hard to jump away from, that first hit of cross slash, a surprising uh, a a secret anti-air, that's the word I'm looking for. Secret anti-air, yeah. It's a secret yeah. anti-air. You don't expect it to anti-air, and then it anti-airs you. Why not? And, and you know, cross, uh, oh, you're climb hazard out of shield. <laughs> like it's, it speaks for itself. Yeah, it does, of course. <laughs> but yeah, right now, back on TNC, uh, basically we, we saw Kelly Farabici dominate on this stage. But right now, I think Bui was actually able to use that first game as a way to kind of understand how Kelly Farabici kind of uses the, the stage for his own advantage as a Falco main. And use it uh, and use it against him. So Booty right now already has a, a good lead at the moment. Uh, oh, hey, hey, a little bit of edge guarding. Uh, up the out of that. Another up B. Let's go. Climb hazard. It's little oh, jungle, little uh, jungle. Uh, another one now. Now Kelly Fair is getting mm -hmm. a little bit antsy and getting a little bit over anxious with some of their punishes and falling straight into the climb hazard special, which is something that Booty wouldn't pull Beautiful. the trigger on, but that. Took the word right out of Beautiful. my mouth. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. I love when that happens. Not to me. 
<laughs> but I love seeing it happen. Absolutely. Lo oh no, oh, the SD. Less That's than, crazy. Less than beautiful. Not so good. I mean, to be fair, he was at a very high percentage. Wouldn't be, isn't that too detrimental? Especially because Califair is at a one stock deficit compared to Booty, and they're both at almost zero percent. And Califair is only racking up percentage on himself as if he's getting hit <laughs> by these. Fairs and oh no! Booty's gaming. Bo Booty's a gamer right now. Booty's They're gaming with an E right now. Oh, Absolutely, it's, just <laughs> it's it's all gaming time. Just calling out roles, taunting in the middle of these upbees that have been the thorn in Kelifera's side the entirety of this game three specifically. Like the set hasn't been reliant on that frame seven option, but the fact that Kelifera has stopped respecting uh, Booty out of shield means that they've been taking. What is 15% of the time by just getting overzealous? Agreed. And right now, honestly, I want to point out really quickly how Woody was able to kind of change up his gameplay when there are platforms active on the on the stage. And he plays a little more patiently, a little more defensively when there are the three platforms present. But when he has a more Omega form stage going on, almost like this right now, he plays way more aggressively just based on the dare right there. And I absolutely love the, ad the adaptation that he's able to do right now in order to capitalize on this lead he had, this massive lead he, had, a lead he has. Yeah, huh. almost closing out the game with that rising back air, but pulling a little bit too far in, playing this, a, again, keeping the pacing mix-ups on their side, using Cloud Dash to their advantage, as that yep. is good to go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 a little closer. bit upset with a, what seems like himself. A little bit frustrated, yeah. yeah. I, I was afraid I, I wouldn't see the fist bump. I was afraid I wouldn't see something. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious because it just seems like Calafera was very, very focused on like I'm going to a stage I won on. I the, I have the I have the stage to unlock. The combo game has been very good for him. But if you're not gonna respect the uh, the gameplay and the reversal options that come from any character. Cloud, especially because of that climb hazard, is so effective, as well as things like up smash and nair, then you have to, you can only be mad at yourself. Agreed, yeah. Like, the first game absolutely was definitely in Kelly Ferris, in Kelly Ferris' name. Like, absolutely got all his combos ready off the platforms, anything he needed. And then once we had to shift over to PS2, and then back to TNC after Booty was able to figure out, hey, these platforms, I don't like them. You're doing them too much. I'm going to just work around them.